Hello there, welcome back for another Midifigus review video and in today's video we are going to take a look at some our journey to the rest of uh, Midifigus uh, These are actually released by Decool Okay, so Right, all these Midifigus are uh, oh, gotta, Just like the You know, the uh, Three Kingdoms Midifigus by Decool If you have them, they come in individual boxes like this Okay, by the way, the uh, Hang on, let me adjust this you can see the box art here looks quite good. So this is the king bull, and uh, here you have the monkey, monkey god, right? So you know uh, each of them do have their own boxes, but uh, I just show you like uh, one or two of it to get a picture of it. Okay, so yeah, let's let's uh, dig into the mid figures. The main thing here. So first of all, uh, we're going to take a look at the monk, uh, Samjang, okay, this is the main monk that they have to protect throughout the journey, okay, oops, so it comes with, uh, this is like his stuff, right, he, he doesn't really battle, uh, so this is just maybe like his walking stick, mainly those high level monks, they have this. Okay, it's very well done. It's very nice gold color, very nice metallic gold here, and even the uh, the entire casting or the sculpt. It's very well done. Very nice. Okay. Okay, here's the minifigure. Now, one thing is that. Uh, not everyone might like this set of minifigures because uh, it's a little bit different from the conventional Lego minifigures is that they actually added uh, ball joints to the arms so its articulation is actually more than your usual Lego okay it allows better posability but uh, I know some would like just a pure you know Lego type design kind of minifigure but it's up to you uh, but this this set here I think even the uh, uh, Three Kingdoms uh, minifigures by the cool all has this ball joint Okay, so let's take a look at the first one here the face printing Okay, face print is okay All right So this is the uh, its crown of some sort which uh, most of the monks also Has this uh, this is very nicely done. You can see all the details uh, Yeah Right a lot of very nicely sculpted details and even the gold color is very nice okay everything is very clean in this set of minifigures uh, you can see it's really good production quality okay you can see a red color on the top here uh, you don't see any bad uh, smudges in the paint jobs okay very nice better look at the crown here Okay. Oh, come on, it's just so difficult to focus, right? So very nice crown indeed, very nicely done. Okay, very impressive. So it comes with a okay, one-sided face print. Okay, this is like his uh, part of his uh, rope. Okay, the monk rope. Very nice. It's like a uh, very you know, it's been used for a long time, it kind of read it. So very nice details here as well. Okay, all these are not printed. Okay. It's actual actual thread of some sort. It's not printed stuff here. So it, it looks very nicely done. Okay, beautiful. Oops. Okay, you can see the body printing. Again, just like a monk, very nice. Okay, here's some side body print, side leg printing. Uh, everything is very tidy, the printing, you can see here. Okay, the details really shows up. Change. Okay. Right, you can see this red color uh, part of the rope here, it just goes all the way down uh, half of the leg. So if you take a look, the entire minifigure is printed with all this continuity so it's very nicely done very good okay the side to the back 
your front. Okay, so it's very nice. Uh, quality wise, it's also very good. The plastic quality and also assembly. But the only problem is that the waist uh, portion is kind of loose. Uh, the same for all of them, uh, especially the uh, Sun Wukong, right? The Monkey King. Okay, so this is the uh, Samjang, the Mong. It's very nice, very nice indeed. So okay, next we have the main character, of course, uh, Son Wukong, or you call him Son Goku. <laughs> Alright, look at him, he looks fabulous. Just look at face paint. Okay, so this is his uh, magical, uh, got it, uh, stuff or uh, stick, whatever, I don't know what you call this, but this is very nicely done as well, you can see. Okay, like I said, the painting, the paint jobs, everything is just very clean. Come on, focus. Focus. Okay, you can see it's very clean. No smudges, okay. And also all the details in here. So it's very nice. Very, very nice. Seriously, good quality. And the tip here is kind of heavy. It's not uh, entirely hollow as you can see here right just listen right it's, it's kind of heavy the, the both ends here it's not hollow so it's yes it actually carries some weight which makes it looks you know very good quality it feels very good quality okay so unlike the stuff from Samjang you can see it's it's actually pure plastic but I do think there's some kind of a die cast or metal or some sort Right, it makes it a little bit heavier. Okay. So here is uh, Son Wukong. Of course, Son Wukong has a bigger problem to the waist due to the fact that uh, he has this extra waist part here. So it kind of always uh, detach right at the waist point. Just have to be very careful. So here's the face pinion. Look at that really really nice face printing here you can see nasty little guy here very nice really love it really love the expression here <laughs> just superb uh, it just comes with the second face print hang on oh, okay let's turn it around look at that screaming all angry up wow very nice indeed very nice face printing beautiful Okay, let's look at the face, uh, the entire head scalp here. You can see the ears. Okay, they actually color the ears, and you can see there's just no smudges. Very clean paint job here. Okay, the side as well. Okay, and these two uh, long pieces, I don't know what you call it, it's actually kind of uh, those rubbery type. Okay, it's not hard plastic, so you can bend a little. This whole thing you can detach the top here. Okay. So all this thing, the whole thing is actually plastic, uh, rubbery. But you can see the paint job is very nicely done. Everything is very tidy. Okay. Gosh, really beautiful head piece here. Hey, uh, face printing, everything is very nice. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, let me remove off. So here's the cape. The cape is also uh, this rubbery type here. Okay, it's rubbery. And here is the shoulder piece uh, with some animal sculpts here. Right, I think some kind of a, a wild boar, a dragon, not too sure. But very nice indeed. Okay, just a lot of details. And then here, you can see, all right. Let me remove the waist piece as well. Focus, all right. Just a lot of parts. Uh, you can see the waist piece. A lot of details as well. Very nice. Okay. You just can't find anything wrong with the paint job because it's just... Uh, very tidy 
Okay, very good quality from Deku. Okay, it's the body print. Okay, you can see it's very nice as well. Side print here, it's actually full body printed. Okay, very nice. The arms. Back print. Okay, the other side. You can see really a lot of details here they put in. Okay. Right, some patterns here at the wrist area and even the shoes. Look at the shoes. Very nice. So I've been playing a lot with this because of the uh, arm articulation. Uh, it really allows you to uh, pose a lot of fighting poses uh, using <laughs> using this character here. So it's very nice. Really love it. Okay, uh, I do agree. Uh, some of us really wants purely uh, Lego type kind of minifigure, but still, uh, once in a while, having something different. Uh, doesn't hurt, right? So this is indeed very nice. Uh, Son Wukong, the only weakness is the waist portion, okay? Other than that, everything is just beautiful. Okay, next we have uh, one of the disciples. Uh, this is uh, Sajang, right? Okay, it's a, he's also a monk. Uh, this is his weapon. Again, the weapon is very well done. Okay, the chrome parts or the metallic parts here, and then you can see all the sculpted uh, details on the weapon. Okay, very nice, very nice detail. Uh, of course, this unlike the uh, Sun Wukong's or the Monkey God's weapon, it's purely plastic. Okay. Here you can see the face printing. Uh, I think it's very nice. Okay, very nicely done. Uh, very Chinese kind of uh, mythical kind of, you know, the art drawing you can see on all the temples. So, uh, really looks something like this. Okay, very nice. And you can see this headpiece here is also very beautiful. The gold color. Okay, all the mustache, all the beard. Okay, very accurate. Okay, it's one piece, you can actually remove it with the bolt head here. Okay, and again, you don't see any uh, smudges. Everything is just very tidy, very nicely done. Okay, so it's only uh, one side of face print. Right, so this is the face printing, and then this is uh, the beads for Mong. So it's the body printing. I think it's okay, uh, decent, good enough. At least you can see a lot of details here. It's not lazy design, definitely. Right, side printing. Yeah, the side printing here. All right. Seriously, I do think this this set of minifigures is made with love because everything is very nicely done. Right, you can see the details at the back here, to the legs, all the way back. Right, you can see just a lot of different details at, it, at, at this level as well. Very nice, very nice. It is perfect. Okay. So this is uh, Shajan. Oh yeah! Before that, I kind of forgotten. <laughs> just a slight comparison. Uh, yeah, it's not a one-to-one -one comparison, but just to know that uh, what kind of uh, type of minifigures we do have from the past uh, for the same character, right? Of course, we do have since uh, Journey to the West minifigure. You can see this is Sohuko or Goku. Right? You can see just huge difference between both. Okay, even from the face expression to the uh, uh, all the body parts, all you can see this the Deku one is just so amazing, right? This is the Sins version, and just a quick one. 
uh, this is based off Lego, so of course it's not original Lego. Uh, you you can see <laughs> it's totally different, but of course some would like more comical like uh, for their minifigure. But uh, yeah, this the one from Deadpool is just amazing. Okay, All right. So let's uh, head back to the review. Uh, next you have the pick, or you call it uh, a Tsuba guy. All right, some sort. Okay. <laughs> Let's depict the other disciples. And this is weapon, uh, a fork like weapon. Uh, very nice as well. Again, very tidy. Doesn't look cheap, you know, everything doesn't look cheap. Okay, well, of course, it's also pure plastic. And here's the character. Just look at the uh, uh, face sculpt here. You can see uh, everything is very nicely done. The eyes. Even the colors, the pink colors, all is painted uh, very tidily. Very tidy, everything is very tidy. Uh, this is not removable, right? Okay. Okay, let's see. It's very nice, very nice head sculpt. Okay. Right, so the body. Uh, well, we'd like to have the perhaps the skin tone here, but it's not that bad, okay? But at least if they could make it a little bit brighter, it will look very nice. Uh, but it's not as bad as, as normally we can see. Uh, it's a little bit dull, but still okay, right? So here's the body print. Okay. I think his body printing is not as uh, outstanding as uh, the rest. Okay, still good enough. Right, so there's the Chewbacca, the pig. Next, you have uh, we call this the Red Kid. Uh, it's the son of the uh, King Boo. You can see he looks whew, ready to battle. Uh, his story is mainly that he's a very disobedient kid, and uh, later on, he just kind of found his way and uh, start to follow the right path. Right? He's always causing trouble, but uh, here's his weapon, and I think it's very nice as well. Very nicely done. Okay, and this is also plastic. Here's the minifigure. You can see the face printing. Okay. Really love that expression. Uh, I don't know, it's just very comic y kind of feel. Okay, we like it. Not too serious. Uh, only one side of face print, and this hair here you can remove. Okay. I don't really know. Uh, we is there any source material that they base off this design? But still, uh, very nice. Okay, and also you have this uh, kind of like a shoulder piece of some sort. You can remove it. Okay. Or well, as you can see again. Uh, very nice paint jobs, okay. Gold color, the red all. I can see a little, just a little bit of smudge here. But still, very nicely done, okay. Here's the body print. I think it's okay, right? Oh, very nice. I love the gold color that they use here. Okay, here's the side, side arm print, and you have the back print here. Okay, really nice. I like this this emblem here. Just looks very amazing. Uh, here's the the other side of the printing. Okay, so very nice. Uh, this red key. ready to cause trouble and the final one we have uh, King Boo All right it's King Boo King Boo comes with a uh, some kind of a fork like spear okay which is very nice as well and here is the face printing I kind of felt the face print uh, looks more like a lion right Maybe that's uh, the sound purpose. You can see here, very fierce indeed. 
don't want to mess with him. Let's remove this. Okay, only one side of face print here. And this is the, uh, the entire head sculpt here. I think this is very nicely done. Okay, very nice. Look at the hair. And it's hard plastic, which is very nice. Because normally they, they love to use all those kind of rubbery stuff. Rubbery, rubbery kind of material, which I don't really like. So this is uh, hard plastic. I really love the hard plastic. Even the horns have enough details, right? It's a very nice sculpt indeed, very nice sculpt. Putting on, you can see it's a very, very mean uh, King Boo. Okay, we're doing this. Okay, this is the shoulder material. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. It's a little bit tight on this one. All right. Okay, see the shoulder piece here is also very nicely done. Okay, uh, again, very tidy. You see some smudges here, the gold color. Okay. And the cape is uh, your usual uh, cloth, but this is kind of feels like paper. Okay. You can see here uh, two of the fire logo. And it's the body print. Okay, you have a chest hair here. Uh, yeah, very nice. You can see this whole portion here. It's just very well done. Okay. Really love the gold color that they used. And here's the side. Alright, side arms. You can have a, a, a bull tattoo here. The back. Very nice. Really lots of details. Beautiful. Right, let me assemble. So they have King Boo. So that's the cool's journey to the West minifigures, and I do think it's very well done. Right, the weapons, uh, the sculpts of the face, the hair, everything, the printing is all very well done. Like I said, uh, they do have some smudges, uh, but very minimal all right everything is very good quality top-notch quality even Sun Wukong's weapon really heavy felt like uh, a bit of metal into it but our problem is the uh, the waist okay for Sun Wukong it just you know comes off easily due to the extra parts uh, other than that I, I think it's very nicely done uh, but it also depends whether can you accept you know this is a different type of design of minifigure with the uh, ball joint L uh, arms but it really allows you to pose more so it's uh, different types of minifigure that you can get to play around with. I uh, really had fun play, uh, posing uh, all these minifigures. All right. uh, hopefully they will continue this line because I really want to get the rest of the demons because there are tons of demons in this uh, story. Okay, So to me, I'm really satisfied with this. Okay, So uh, that's the review for this Journey to the Vest minifigure by Deku. And I hope you enjoy this video and do remember to like, share and subscribe to this video to show support uh, for this channel, okay? So thank you very much for your time and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.